Okay, uh, good afternoon to each and every one of you. Uh, welcome to the review course for biology for the university entrance exam. By the way, my name is Mr. Paul Llanera. I'll be the one going to discuss to you about biology. So to start it off, let's define first what is biology is. Biology literally means it is a study of life and or it is a science which deals with living things. Everything that is moving and breathing automatically is part of biology. One good example for this one are plants, animals, even the human beings. These are part of biology. Even the microorganism that uh, it's not possible for us to see because we're not able to see it by the naked, the naked eye. Uh, it's also part of biology as long as it is living. Um, biology also, it is also a science that deals with the structure and even the function of the living things and their relationship with their environment. Now let's proceed now to where does biology came from? Actually, biology came from the, the two Greek words, which is bios, meaning life, and logos, means study of. Literally, uh, if we will be combining together, biology means study of life. Now let's proceed to some of the characteristics of life and how I'll be able to identify it. There are actually we have nine. The first one is the cellular composition. The second one is the growth. The third is the reproduction. The fourth is the movement. Adaptation is the fifth. The sixth one will be the metabolism. The seventh will be the specific organization. The eighth is homeostasis. And the ninth one will be the response of this but I'll be uh, giving you an example uh, later on I'll be explaining each all uh, each characteristic so for you to be able to understand it clearly now let's start with the cellular composition the word itself cellular if you will be looking at the words here there is the word cell so if we will be defining the word cell it is defined as a basic unit of life so that means that all living uh, things is comprises of cell it could be at least one cell or it could be composed of more than one cell okay so we do have two types of uh, cellular composition we do have the unicellular we call and the other one is the multicellular for the unicellular so the word itself uni stands for one it is made up of one cell so one good example for this one is the microorganism which is uh, the bacteria for the multicellular composition it is the word itself is multi stands for more two or more cells so that means it uh, this uh, living or uh, organism is made up of two or more cells such as plants and animals and even the human being itself is a multicellular composition now let's proceed to the next uh, characteristics which is the growth if we will be defining what is growth it says here it increases cell size for unicellular and or an increase in cell number for multicellular for increase in cell size that means that uh, from small to large so I'll be giving you a good, good, good example for this one is the mitosis in mitosis uh, if but Mitosis, we'll be discussing it further once that we proceed to the topic. But for now, uh, for the growth, one good example for this one is during the interface stage or the initial stage. As you can see here, uh, if we will be defining it during the phases of interface, during gap one, the small cell is absorbing nutrients, growing, and doing its job. For this S stands for the synthesis, cell is continuing to grow and duplicates its DNA and during gap 2 or G2 the cells keeps growing and doing its job to show you the illustration for you to be able to understand it clearly as you can see here from a small cell during gap 1 or the G1 up to the G2 or the gap 2 as you can see the growth itself is that the small cell during uh, I, one uh, identical daughter cell from a, a the identical daughter cell up to a matured cell so that you will see that there is an increase of growth there is an increase of uh, size because the cell during the 
the, uh, this time, the cell is absorbing the nutrients, so that's why it becomes larger. 